let that cook for a bit. Yeah, gentlemen's hours this time, eh? Although, retrospective, everyone's like, oh, I wouldn't mind a bit more current in the morning, you know? <laughs> it's good because none of us have ever really fished here much at low tide. So we've had to work out how to get them at low tide. And as it happens, they're pretty easy to catch at low tide. I don't think it's a bad thing. That's what I've loved out the time and stuff. It's Put you out of your zone. Everyone's doing it. It's, yeah. You know, it's not really down to actually figures it out. I had one... Um, one tournament where I'd sit at the end of that ramp there, when we had it at a Lindisfarne, I'd sit at the end of this ramp on a busy Sunday as they're loading their boats and just throw stick minnows in behind where the prop wash is and they'd get blown out. Donk. I caught about four in a row, just giants. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't actually be fishing that well through here. I was talking oh, yesterday to, um, to Butch. I reckon that as the year goes on, it gets colder, all those big fish from Ralph's move up the river. Because when we have May tournaments, this bank here, you know, Bell Reeve at the front, Lindisfarne, all fish good. But this time of year, it doesn't. It's all upper river or in Ralph's. You know, it's like that big class of fish comes up the river. The later we run it, the further up the big fish are. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Might be a good year for rim fishing then because of how we've got so many warm currents coming down. Mm. And they might hang around for a bit longer. I saw the posts on the... Um, how warm it is in the ocean here at the moment? We're actually getting updates at work every week. They're, they're classifying it as a marine heat wave. Marine heat wave, yeah. And every week they're doing their studies and saying, no, it's still this, and they're even trying to translocate panfish from yep. nearby because they're so endangered. Yeah. They reckon the, the warm water will. Wow. You'll be catching marlin down here soon. Well, they did last week. Out the, off East Coast? Yeah. You'll be catching them down here soon. <laughs> Someone reckons they either saw or hooked two off um, just east of Hibble Island. Wow. Island yeah, yeah. And... Well, if the warm water's there, the fish will be in it. Yeah, well, it's probably another thing like kingfish. You know, no one's out there actually sort of targeting yeah. them. And... I've seen a school of kingies. It would have been near 10 years ago in Lindisfarne Bay as I'm fishing the bank. School of kingies, that big 50 of them just all swimming past. That was 10 years ago. Yeah, well, it's uh, one of those things everyone will slow onto it. And then yeah. now it's a, yeah, it's a thing. It's, a it's going to be warm today. It's going to be 26, I reckon. Good. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Yesterday was like one of those jumper on, jumper off, on, off, on, off. Yeah. Still be a cold run. Look, yeah, he's looking like he's in Antarctica. <laughs> no meat on you, that's why. The last few boats checked out there. What time is it? Quarter two. Looking good. We'll start up in Marilla Bay again in those on that oyster reef in the middle. We got a pretty early limit off that yesterday. I think at 9.47, I had five and Butch had two, I think, and then he got his third one straight after. Because we'll have an hour more current on that today. It did stop after about an hour yesterday. Uh, we're filming for a couple of days down south again because we didn't get to do much actual fishing filming yeah. while the tournament stuff's on. Yeah. We did that for a few days after the Barra tour last year and got all this grouse drone stuff with Barra hitting lures and yeah, so all that stuff. Yeah. I was just saying quite a few people from work. Yeah. The overlay, the overlay one, one. Yeah. 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 And it helps put it in context for them. Yeah. Especially people that don't fish yeah. understand. Yeah. What we used a little bit yesterday on the edges on the low tide. Morning, boys. Hey, Butchie, have a good day today, mate. Don't, I don't know what you did yesterday, but you put that stink on your lure. It didn't work. <laughs> uh, Rob, yeah, Rob, nice guy. 
Oh, I got you in my sights, Mars. Ten grams. What's going on there? Bit of a traffic jam at the top there. That's <laughs> right. Your camera good, Isaac? You get that good? Does that gooseneck fit? So put it on when you get down there. And show a couple of fish to the camera. And get excited, will you? No. <laughs> Oh, otherwise, I'll put the human cephalopod meme in there. <laughs> That's some of my best meme work at that stuff. That's when he sent me a photo of a squid with a big hand behind it. You see that movie, The Human Centipede? And it's got the thing with the hands behind the windows. It looks exactly the same, eh? I went and got it and... Okay, that's, that's got to win a meme comp, that one, The Human Cephalopod. I'm going to get out of this traffic jam. Yeah, fair enough. You good, Nicole? Just if it was getting close to the time, we'd do the last couple of checkouts and she'd go to the, out to the end. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I can tell you've been watching my live streams, that last little sneaky spot you were going in yesterday. Did you get one in Aqua in there? Yep. Nah. Just a, just a bag filler. No, they were junk. I fished them in practice and they, I didn't go there. No. The, um, I just think it's, uh, the, there was a run out tide, like a, from a high to a run out. It's the opposite tide this year. See, I abandoned them all. Ah, uh, the reef. Yeah. Under the swimming pontoon. Yeah. <laughs> Your motor's down. Okay. Bloody Wally yesterday coming in. The ferry's coming in, so I go on the you know, on its port side there because I know it's going to turn. Wally goes straight past it in front of it and slows down. I'll okay, go, what, what are you doing? Oh, mate's on the thing. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, Wally's a danger to himself, man. <laughs> it's like, Wally, didn't you see the ferry coming? Oh, not really. They don't stop like we stop. No, no. <laughs> but to be honest, Wally did drop down to five knots and the ferry kept on going pretty quick in and, yeah, he, he slides it in, but... But no, you just don't get in front of it, Wall. The most dangerous ones are in the Parramatta River. They're, they're diesel catamarans and they are quiet through the water. You don't hear the engine noise. So whenever you're fishing the bridge and you're sneaking to the channel and you're throwing up, you've got to look for them because they're fast as. Yeah, and as right. soon as you see one on the horizon, you've just got to lick you out, go around the corner. They don't, they don't have to slow down for the bridges. They just fly underneath, underneath them. Everyone else does. Anyway, so yeah, you've got to get out, let them go through and then get them in. But man, they are... Whew, I'm always there looking over my shoulder all the time. I don't think this one gets here till 9.30 this morning, so we check the timetable. We've got a bit more traffic down here and they sort of use their infrastructure and mm. ferries everywhere would be nice. but. We've got a pretty good set of ferries in um, in Brisbane and they have the, the docks stick out with the lights on them and all the jewfish and threadfin salmon come and feed under the lights all the time. It's been, it's a real, about 10 years ago, it was such a, an awesome time. I could be at home, I'm four kilometres away from the water, get on my pushy with the fly rod or whatever, just down, to the, I could, I'd average nearly four, four to, I'd tag them, I'd average nearly four tags a night and I'd only fish for maybe two hours max. I'd get up at weird hours, get up at three in the morning, go in, get a few, come back, go to sleep again. Yeah. Got 260 in one year. And then the commercial guys flogged them to death at the mouth, like they got the brooding stock. And yeah, right. I, I haven't caught a threaty in three years up there. Really? Yep. Going from, I still catch a few mull away because they can't, they can't bang those, they spawn in deep water, so they can't get them on the, in the gill nets. Yeah, right. But yeah, it went from 260 a year to less, it's a single figures.
Yeah, it is. It was such an awesome fishery. And, oh, and also, there's the warning out not to eat them. Yeah, so <laughs> it's like never a danger of coming out. Nope, I don't think so. And it's it seems like you get intermittent recruitment. Like when we first came here, there was no small fish; everything was a kilo. Yeah. And then about five or six years in, we started getting heaps of little ones. And then we we're having like two, two and a half kilo limits. And then those fish now are all those thirty-two to thirty-fours, I reckon. Yeah, give it, one. give it another. Next time we come down, we should have averaging a lot of five kilo bags in, I reckon. I thought it was going to be this time, but but we've been coming here for near 20 years now, so we've seen that whole the whole fish coming. We are boat number today, six. A bit earlier than yesterday. It's going to come out, I don't think. We're having these late sessions from a time management point of view. It gets to after lunch. You're aware that it's after lunch. It's like, oh, it should be nearly finished. It's like, oh, no, i got four hours to go. <laughs> it takes a bit to get used to. I don't know why either, but it's sort of, um, I seem to go a lot quicker. I start at night and I think all of a sudden it's yep. lunch or something like that. Well, lunchtime in a normal tournament, you're starting to panic, but lunchtime here, it's like, ah, when they began three hours, not even halfway through the session. Get out the front there, Isaac. Go like this. All line up behind me. You are not worthy. Make hay while the sun shines, I reckon. Said it was going to be cloudy this morning too. It lies all the time, this weather. It's supposed to be cloudy till 10 o'clock. Cloudy, no wind. Yep. <laughs> Sunny and blow. I don't mind it blowing this morning. It'll help my current along. Ah, oh, if you're wrecked, if we can. Yep, right up. Got a coffee in that cafe calling your name. Not going to drink itself. This is a good tournament start place, this. We don't often have a nice deep water dock like this, which is from five knots open to the ocean. Good morning, anglers. We're about 60 seconds away from We make the everyone pull their morning. switches to space them out. Because the most dangerous part, I reckon, Good is when everyone's taking off. If they conquer seconds. the next boat's like this taking off, you want to have a good gap between. You want that guy to be on the plane before you go, which is why we could check this earlier, but we just... It's just keeping them separated. Yep. 
Yeah, whenever we do a start, like St. Helens, when we do it in five knots, it doesn't really matter because they all organise themselves, you know. Hey, Isaac, don't choke, mate. Don't choke. <laughs> I like the mind games. Or more appropriately, hey Wally, don't choke. <laughs> Wally's a notorious day one champ, day two struggler. See, by the time he gets organised again now, the other guy's gone. I got my eyes on you. Kelsey. All right, let's go fishing. Let's go, Mackenzie's story from this bridge, yeah. how he nearly got his head chopped off by a rope. That's why we make everyone stop under every bridge. He showed me the scar and everything. It looked like the second head was definitely cut off. Yeah. No, first year ever.
There's definitely not that cold sting in it this morning. She's warm this morning. She was a bit frosty uh, last couple of mornings. Good current running still. I like that. The Crescent, the scene of many a big grim capture. All right, let's go fishing. going so I can see where the reef is. You know how this thing runs? Big crescent up this way. And don't tw jerk it too hard or the salmons will be jumping all over it. Like that. They were ravenous yesterday morning. Get out there. That's the best sort of salmon, self-releasing. Good. Doubles. <laughs> Come on, one of you fall off. I'm just going to get right up on the knuckle of it and I'll put the poles down. Rimbo?
Oh, I'll make going straight across the shallow bit. I tell you what, yesterday that was, I was touching bottom there. <laughs> Mm, I wouldn't be doing that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, at high tide, there's a bit of a run through there, but I wouldn't be doing that this tide. No, shit, no. Good way to lose a gearbox. Is the juice worth the squeeze for the extra 60 seconds of fishing you're going to get? At the cost of a... Yeah. Moving it too fast. On related news, there's no problems with the recruitment of Australian salmon in this joint. What's going on? Casting like a spastic. Yeah, that's right. Just got to get it down to near the bottom. Four or five wines, get it down and then don't move it. Go over top of me, just get it out there. All I'm doing is clearing the herrings away. I caught a brim here yesterday that had no tail. He had a stump. 33 to the stump he was. He didn't fight at all. That brim. A little stumpy. If you're a keen salmon fisherman, Tasmania is your place. There's a flatty towel here too if you need to wipe the slime off yourself. It is definitely going in the bin tonight. This is ridiculous. Something wrong there. 
I can see Brim on the live scope actually. See him moving around. This is the edge of the reef just here. Brimbo, finally, eh? No? Side on spiraling salmon. I don't think I've had a cast today that hasn't had one of these stupid things on it. I wouldn't want to be a bait fish in this joint, that's for sure. Had a brim. What? Oh! <laughs> that is. I'm going to put this bait cast right away. This has been bad luck for me this weekend. That is my brand new FG, not gone. I tested that last night. Did we just get both double smoked? <laughs> yep. That's the danger on this joint. I did lose a couple of lures here yesterday, but I did get a couple back too, when they're just on snags. Putting that right away. Been bad news for losing fish. All right, what do we got here? Let's try this one here. Obviously we just found the patch of brim there. A double smoky. I'm just gonna grab the scent there. We found it yesterday. We catch catch our legal fish, move five meters, catch another brim. Herring. <laughs> That's also a herring. Oh, can't even burn them in. Yeah, it sort of flat, flat, flattens out nicely, this thing. The back of the crescent. I wonder if you can hook a real little one and just leave it out there live. <laughs> oh yeah, a brim. You guys try. You guys did really well in that Hewan event. Smashed it. Did you fish up the river or a middle or down low or what stretch? Uh, down. down low. Yeah. yeah. It's um. Seems like the whole length of the river's got fish in it.
All right, we'll catch one there. Just moved a little bit. Put a deeper bait on there. There's a double clutch. My uh, flathead to salmon ratio is not high enough. Probably not getting down enough. So, welcome to live viewers. Update is. We've had no excitement this morning apart from a double smoking. So we just had one of the little patches of rim here. We just have to collide with a patch of fish to turn the every cast salmon into some brims. Across the smidge. There you go, finally. Rod high. <laughs> Come up front, man, if you want to get around the motors. Preemptively turn the live well on. He's a proper one. <laughs> you find it a current now. <laughs> if he's any bigger, we'd have to go and chase him. He'll get tired. Oh. <laughs> Hook pull him. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, look at that. That's a nice one. That's about a kegger. That's right, there's a mural there if you want. Yeah. See how big she is, and they just throw them that's your life well there. That's a proper one. 38. 
That'll do. Three of them will do you. That's an on-bait of life, isn't it? Oh, I've only got two to go now. <laughs> two more of them, you can relax. Just gonna get this lure off the snag. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> that was a couple of casts here without salmon. Let's try. I'm going to swap over to what I caught the brims on yesterday, which is that duo Rosanti. One of these. Yeah. It's no such thing as by the salmon. That double clutch was grubbing on the bottom and the salmon ate it. bit of stink, never hurt anyone. That sounds better. Brimbo? Side hook salmon, yep. 
the old SHS. Move a little bit again. You cursed us by saying the salmon had gone. They're back. All right, sort of sitting on the fr front edge of that reef is just here. Ooh, nice to have no salmon that cast.
big one sideways. No, look at the tail. Want to make them hard to get off? Hook them in the tail. Keep sliding sideways. Oh, that's a, that's not a salmon. It's alright, it'll be a wall. It's a good way to get the day started though. Another proper one. Yeah, they're the right ones. That's how you get the day started on the Derwent. I'm happy to not catch as many little ones if the big ones are like that. That's a keg. I don't think it's as big as your one though. This will be a 36. 37. And a half. <laughs> That's the same as my biggest one yesterday, so gotta be happy with that. We left here with I think I got some thirty fives here, so they were the biggest we got off this joint. That was real that was leaving it a while. It's getting it down and just sort of Had my lock drag from Ralph's Bay yesterday <laughs> when you're fishing this much rock. Let's do what we normally do, move a few metres and then you get another one. Not as many fish this morning, but they're the right quality. I don't like that motorboat. It stirs the bottom up here. It makes it dirty on low tide. Yeah. But the current's running enough to take that dirty water away at least. And they've got the legendary second wake to get you. <laughs> the first wake's like, oh, that's nothing. I can get over that. Next minute, airplanes and submarines all around.
quite narrow here, the flat is sort of only about maybe 20, 30 metres wide. Proper current on it though. I'm going to try throwing me double clutch out and leaving it on the off the edge of the reef. I had one super series here where I just would power pole down on the shallow bit and then throw it over the deep bit and just sort of hold it in the current and twitch it. And they loved it. This is when you're hooked up, you had to let them run a bit, otherwise you'd, the angle on the edge of the reef, you'd pull them into the oysters. Yep, yep. <laughs> Donk. Yep. There's all the bottom up that Mona Ferry there. You see all the mud that it's lifted up. That's about where our cast is, about where the edge of the reef is. You can see it on the, pretty solidly on the live sonar.
I reckon there's another bit of reef out there. You can see the current lines on it. Let's go all the way into the bank, eh? All right, we might go over to that bit. This bit ends about 20 metres in front of us. Oh mate, his kayak's done pretty well. He's paddled all the way from down there to nearly over to Mona. There's mud on the bottom here. Yeah, there's got to be something underwater here. Coming into sight here. Looks like rock, not muscle, an oyster. But worth a throw, I think. Let's try locking it there. That's what you want, an isolated bit that no one fishes. They're all hammering the stick now. Get over the top of it. Let's throw the double clutch a bit deeper. I'm hit the bottom with a double clutch. That's awesome. Next minute, donk. Nick minute, snags. All right, so I probably don't need the double clutch to hit the bottom. Let's, Let's go the Rosanti again.
that's nice herring. Feels good size. Just don't know how oystery it is down there. Coming in like jaws. Hey, he doesn't look big at all. What's going on with all those head shaking? Ah, oh, he's all right, isn't he? He's better than nothing in the live world, which you've got at the moment. Did he get bigger as he came in? He's a little bit bigger. <laughs> he's all right. He'll be a 34, 35, I think. See, the Tassie is a place where you come and you say that fish like this are not big enough. Late in the locals, like, ah, not very big. He is. Oh yeah, he's not big enough. 36 and a half. It's all right, it's a keg. Oh yeah, bag of them's five kegs. So my big, my first two fish this morning are the same as my biggest two fish yesterday. So I got 4.7 yesterday. Nothing wrong with that. On a bit of reef I've never fished in my life. I was fishing pretty slow, eh? Get it down and drift it across. And do what we do, move across another few metres again. I reckon there's more reef there too, you can see. This goes all the way to the bank, doesn't it? The crescent.
Not touching the bottom now. Swap back to the double clutch. I like the lack of herrings here. Well, I'm touching the bottom with the double clutch, eh? Must be getting close with the Rosandi. The double clutch hits the bottom, Rosandi doesn't. Nothing wrong with that. What's this wrong, Leighton? Yep. I like hitting the bottom, eh? I like just occasionally touching it. That one doesn't hit, and this one does. It's just, it's wherever the motor's pointing, yeah. So you can see the edge of it, it's about two boat lengths in front of us. And it goes back though, for probably three or four boat lengths behind us, so. So that's probably landing about where the edge of it is. So if they're sitting on that front edge, which surprisingly I don't think they do, I think they sit on the highest point of it. So yesterday I fished the front edge a bit, but as soon as you get to right, the, the highest point, that's where the brim were. You know, sometimes they're always off the edge, just this low tide, they're up. Oyster. Oyster, oyster, oyster. All right, I'm gonna try, I'll try a big zip bait. Deep jerk. To me, these look like the, hello. Salmon. Let's try this. This is a zip bait. Something, something. If it was written on it, I would know what it is. But it's a deeper, bigger one. Not as deep as the double clutch. Not as shallow as the 
the duo. The Tassie boys would know what this is. What's that one? I know it is, but a lot of the bikes need to be thrown. It's got to be like about 80 mil long. Throws long way. Yep. Insert number here. Just tip the bottom there. The reef's down here now. How deep is it? No, it's not deep. Power pole's never even got half vertical. All right, that way. That's right, it's gonna go down. Go and investigate that next ripple over there. Yep. I never fished it ever. Looks like Grant's spot locked on that rocky point there. He's hammering it. Interesting. Oops. Definitely a bit of reef there. Good.
Oh, did you like that head shake? <laughs> it's going to get serious soon. This drag's a bit funny on this reel. Feels like the right size one again. That's all right. He's just got it caught his face and he's just angry. Thanks, mate. We're getting the right ones, aren't we? That was fishing it so slow. Yeah. Just wound it down till it hit the bottom and stopped it, just twitching it. Yeah, that's on the zip bait riggy insert size and depth here. There's another kegger, I reckon. I reckon 36. Bang. Yeah. I sort of threw it and wound it till it hit the bottom. And then when it hit the bottom, that sort of slowed it down. So I just sort of rolled it. Whenever it hit, might hit. I might have thrown it in front of the reef there. It's not even hit the bottom. Yeah, hit the bottom there, so. I'm thinking injured salmon. Injured salmon rolling along the bottom for a brim to eat. Feel very nervous fishing jerk baits on fast action rods like this. This is my aqua rod. And I've only got it rigged on there because I want to have braid and heavy leader over this oyster stuff. When I hook them up, I'm thinking the whole time, oh, I'm going to tear that hook out of its mouth. Luckily, I haven't yet. Move over a couple of meters. <laughs> Oof, that's my leader not being naughty. Yeah, it sort of heads out this way now, that reef. It's just sort of, it's not back there. It's, it's about where your lure is. <laughs> Layton's on here. Let's flip this around. Cut the front end if you want. Deep dive, first cast of deep diver. <laughs> Little fella, little squeaker. Where are you, little fella? There you go. Thanks for cleaning him out of the road so I can catch his mama.
Yep. A fish is weighs more than no fish. Oh, look at that head shake. No, little, little guy, don't worry. I'll get him. <laughs> Setting on the bottom. We'll go and get that off. I'll throw this guy in the box. He's small, but he's number four. Can't say they have a kilo average now, mate. You've been wrecking the average. Oh, geez, he nearly jumped overboard. <laughs> All right, let's go get that. That's right. Moving is not a bad thing. We're going to fish all down through these banks anyway. It's quite expansive, this bit now. Bit of a tabletop here. I see a leader. I'll come up this way. Let's try here. I think we're right in the middle of the top of it now. So you can throw all directions. Is he just spinning his way in, or is he a better than the last one? Oh, yeah, he's all right. Now. You can tell they get that sort of darker colour, the big ones, that purple colour in them. You know, you're not going to have that, are you, mate? <laughs> get out. the side of the face job. Thank you, sir. There's another kegger. They are biting this morning, that extra bit of current, I reckon. That tide being earlier. Swat to that big zip baits. Even the local doesn't know what it is, is that secret? Zip baits, whatever. If you know what it is, throw it, throw it in the comments. I reckon he's 35. Yeah, that's the shallow one, isn't it? Like a 70 mil or an 80 mil or something. 70. Well, this one's a bit deeper, this one, isn't it? Deep version. That's it. You take them herrings out of play, please. Had one hit it and tangle the lure up. Could have been a herring, I suppose. Well, these seem to be quite herring proof.
just feels like there's been less pressure on this little top in it compared to back there. Felt like it had been hammered a bit. Contemplating taking the jacket off. Which as I do, it'll get cold. That wind. <laughs> Tazzy, as well as big brim records, it sets a record for how many times you take your freaking jacket off all day. I reckon I've had it on 20 times in one day once. Wind stops blowing. Oh, it's hot. Wind blows again. Oh, it's cold. All right, let's keep on squeaking sideways. Still quite extensive out this way, the flat. Still reef all, all out here. Not as much current on it here though, it's not the bit where the current's banging on it. It's a brim boat. I love the big head shakes on them. Fishing slow again, eh? Just hit the bottom and it's not that big. I don't know, he's getting bigger. Another 35, I reckon. I don't like look that one treble in your pie hole. Never in doubt, eh? Nice. Got one more little one to get rid of. Grubbing the zip baits. That's the fifth, I think. Not an upgrade. I've got a little one there to upgrade, though. Little hand spanner. Mmm. I still remember the tournament I had down here where I was catching 38 and a halves and they weren't big enough for the bag. Got 6.3 or something that day and it was like, had a bag full of 39s and 40. Layton's on one too. See, every time you just move a little bit, there they are. He's uh, 35 and a half. <laughs> It's all right, that's your limit, isn't it? Yeah, mate. Oh, come in, come in, come in, come in. Oh, come in, come in, come in, come in. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got my net too. I have the nightmares of having the uh, the net, the lure hanging on the outside of the net with the fish hanging off it. I did that with a barrow once. <laughs> you have to sit there with a big environ net and like flip it over it trying to get it. We got it. There was a few nervous moments, I won't lie. So we're, but we're limited out now. 
33 is all right. That's a 700 grammer. Nice work. Limits already. We love Tassie for that. Secret's been just to keep on, keep on creeping. It's not like the fish, are, it's like they're not moving. They're just in the little patch having an eat. Because we never stopped in one spot and just had them keep on coming to us. And I think it's also helped that extra bit of current. You sit in the bottom there. <laughs> yep. Stink on. All right, let's creep, it, creep aside again. Looks like another little high bit of that point there, doesn't it? Yep, that's the game you play. I didn't buy my lures to so not tap the bottom. There he is. See, he just moved again. Layton's onto his onto the meat. It feels like an all right one. Yeah, I love the lo love the cranky head shake though. That's the that's the defining factor. The shake, the shake and bake. You've got a bigger medium and a small now, and I think now you're going to have two mediums. Two mediums and a big. Anyway. I don't know. Maybe that's a small. Yeah, you might upgrade the Hey, he'll upgrade the little one for sure. Exactly. It's first world problems, isn't it? Just grab it on the bottom again. Yep. Cool. Throw him in the net while you're waiting. That's the easiest way. I'll just throw him in there. Then you don't have to fish him out again. He's not, not enough? Mm. 
<laughs> That's all right. Oh, I can see the bottom now. I like that. It's all right. They'll drift through. They'll play through. Mum's catching one. See, Mum's showing you how to do it. Sit in the driver's seat, just smash them. <laughs> yeah, go home for dinner too. What is it? The bottom. Muscle, it's one of those muscles. <laughs> Oh, she was up out of the seat and everything. <laughs> yeah, Grant's been on that point for what seems like forever. They might be coming out of that, you know, like there are a few spots here where they funnel out of the bays on the bottom of the tide. Old mate, the kayak's enjoying his down, downhill paddle now. I'm pretty sure they're not brim in front of us. Losing the current now, I reckon, which is about right. It'll be about an hour after we lost it yesterday. When it slows down, the fish slow down on these things, I reckon. Keep on creeping in. So update for the live viewers, we've got, uh, we have our limits now. Leighton's got a cracker about 38 and a half and a couple of low 30s. I got four about a kilo a piece and one just legal one. So once I upgrade that little one to another kegger, that'd be handy, I think. Yesterday I had a 34, 35, 36, 36 and a half, 37, it went 4.7. So they're a bit skinny, I think. Oh, another mid 30s one now, which might be able to put me into that five kilo range, which I think you're gonna need today. Oh, old mate's got one now, look, here we go. Is that a brim or a flatty? Looks like a flatty, doesn't it? If that's a brim, that's a giant. <laughs> oh, that can't be a brim. I was rolling it in. It's just going to be a big fat herring. Yeah. The world's biggest. The size you see on live scope. It's probably that old mate at the end of the dock this morning was catching. Put them through the fish mincer.
Come on, that's good. Oh, mate's got another one there. Is that a horse oh, herring? It's fine, it like it was a 40. Ooh, reef runs out there, it's still on this side. I've stopped being able to see that current line on these things. Tide's slowing down. Too long a leader on this rod. A pendulum. Oh no, there is a bit of current. You can see the current eddying around this point. It's just not ripping current like before. All right, it's going to fish this little river mouth area. I'm going to go down and fish those more boats, and there's some weed beds down the back that I got some uh, that had fish just staging off them yesterday. Swamping over to the Norries lay down minnow on some four pounds straight through. I pulled the norries out of the box on practice day and uh, threw it in and went one crank of the handle and caught a fish on it. Okay, oh, they still work. <laughs> Haven't thrown one for a few years. Double cups. Throw up. Mine's a little. It just sounds big because it's on straight through. I think it's a legal brim that's smaller than the one that's already in there. And your salmon's probably bigger than my brim.
and he's got a munted tail. I don't even know what that's more. Here, look at him. He's got. That's the second one I've caught down here with Munty Tail. I caught one yesterday. All he had was that. Just had the stump. Little fella was wiggling so hard. I don't know. They're just old. They're normally, the small ones get in that little hole down there. No, he's not. Not the little one. Still big. There he is. He found his way down there. They always do. What's bigger, that one or that one? I think the one without the munty tail is bigger. You're no good, mate. But he is a 28 and a half, so he's about 450 grams. There you are. He won't be in there. Uh, that's what I hope. I did catch a 35 forker down in this stretch yesterday. That was a tailor. I caught a tailor here yesterday too, where the fresh water runs in when it rains, if it ever's going to rain again. All right, I think we're gonna go, we'll go down and fish that moored boat and that little rock point. Let's leave all this rubbishy bank. By good, I mean not leaning out the back, having a pee, so when I put it in gear, you, you have to grab the pee power pole. Oh, it was a first, good first stop anyway, mate. Got limits again. Mm, some good ones in there. I dumped a really big fish on this boat yesterday. I don't know if it was a brim or a sea trout. It hit it on the paws, it hooked itself, and half came out of the water. Man, it left a boil. Make sure the power poles aren't down.
little one. There's a bomb here. 50 foot that way. You can see individual, there's two or three individual brims just cruising on the flat through here. See them on the live scope. You know they brim because herrings don't hand around by themselves. They're always in a school. And there's a mess of crap on this boat. Turn me over there. Under the rope, of course. As long as I don't cut it on a muscle, I should be right. Good. He's probably tiny, but I just didn't want to lean on him too hard under the... He's an upgrade, but he's not a big one. Thanks, mate. A few extra grams. Mid-30s. Sorry. Low-30s. That's right. There's a school of in there. Just twitch another one past the end of it. I'll get us out. He's definitely bigger than a 29. That's on the Norries lay down minnow. Secret to when they go around those anchor ropes, don't pull too hard because if they hit an oyster, it'll break your line. So you saw I just went real easy on him there. Just went and untangled it. Two and a half and pull out a 29, three centimeter upgrade. There's a little little junior burger. Normally in there. Well. Big, big, big. 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 Big, big, there he is. So well behaved, these black room, aren't they? So that's the upgrade. He, out, 32 and a half in.
Are you throwing a crab under there? Yep. Good idea. If you don't get a second one straight away, you can go back in 15 minutes and they'll be reformed under there. You can keep on running back and getting them. Like if that was a 40 centimetre fish and I saw some of my mates in there, I'd definitely keep coming back to it. They reload. But I'm seeing fish out here on the flats anyway, so I don't know how deep that was before. There's probably only about, what, four foot in here? What does it say on the sounder? Four foot, yep. So you can throw that deep crank just all around the joint here and see if you can get them involved. Got a few around the base of this thing. Maybe a little bit of wind wind helped current, yep. There's a couple of fish on the flats just mooching around. Ooh, don't know what that was. Didn't hook up. A real tick on the line there. Must have been a herring. And there's one around this mooring I can see. A bit of current, look at that boy there. I'm surprised it picks up current here. Look at the current around that thing.
It's actually deep on the foot here. I reckon since I've got a limit, it's snack time. A hungry fisherman is a good fisherman. But once you've got your limit, all bets are off. Drew a bit on live scope there. When I jerked it past him, he spun all the way around on it. Didn't eat it though. What's the selection? Oh, it's a double back Mm-hmm. Mm. Big ones. Come on, eat it, mate. Eat it. No, oh, they're buzzing it. right around the front of the boat here now.
the noise. So. So there's a bit of scattered weed out through here. And then yesterday in the sort of channel out from it, there was uh, just brim scattered all over the channel. So we're just gonna fish down to that blue boat and then we'll take off. I'm just wondering after this, if we go to Cadbury's Point, we might still find a bit more current. Like that's the most current, the whole joint on that thing in there. It's 11 o'clock though. I don't know whether that's gonna have died off by now. I think our best move this morning was to move off that main crescent reef and to those little ones while they were still current. Not fight it out with the other dudes on that reef. a bit and it missed me.
about five brim just out here. Not in a school though, they're just all just mooching by themselves. Good boy. There's another tailor, I think. There's a few fish just here. Another tailor. This is the tailor bank. I'll see you at Fraser Island in four years. So too many plies to get that off. All right, let's get set up for this bad boy. End native forest logging, says the guy in the wooden boat. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, you have first chuck at this one, you need an upgrade. Get in there. Come up front of you, man. Have a crack at it. That's just all the mess where its anchor line drags around. Yeah, that's the boat itself is there, I think. No, that's its anchor line, the boat's there. Nothing much under it, actually. So let's go to Cadbury Point, see if we can find a bit of current. There might just be a lick of it left. I don't know if boats have been sitting on it all morning or not. I don't care. I don't care if they have.
I want us to have big enough limits when we leave here to be sitting down at Ralph's not wishing we were back in the river. <laughs> That's the trick, not to be, oh, did, did, I shouldn't have come down. Yes, you should have come down. sitting about where I want to sit. There's a nice drop off that drops off this side. A 
That's Mark. Healy. Let's go out a bit further if he's coming in this way. Doesn't look like there's much current over it anyway. Looks pretty, pretty benign. Is that current going in or out? It's a bit of a ripple there. Yes. Where's the cardinal mark at the end of it? It's way out, isn't it? There it is. Okay. Let's head outwards then. Oh, this, look how shallow it is. <laughs> this is the shallow bit. Give us a unique opportunity to work it with no current. How you going, Mark? You getting them? I got uh, I got four good ones and one little one. I was hoping there was going to be some current left over here, but it seems not. Yep, they yeah, just stopped everywhere. Remember in the early days, everyone used to shortcut through here? Yeah. Scary. Ooh, I like the look of that moored boat over there. Do you know what depth of water that one's in? How deep's that boat in over there? You know how deep that one's in? Eh, too deep. One in five feet. Five feet or less. Yeah. You know the theory, it's bottom of the tide, clear day, everything just goes and sits under the first bit of structure they can find, so. Yeah, I'm going to have a look before we turn around and start heading down. Nasty ass down there, but it's a bit deep, I think. Need to fish it with a plastic or something. I'm going to try and get right up on the edge here, see what's going on.
Oh, what are they? Are they brim? Look at them all. Eh? They must be mullet. They get mullet in this river? Yes. Yeah. They're mullet then. Yep. There's no real big predators in here, are there? There's like sea runners and that's about it. There's no like mulloway in here, are they? Like a mullet wouldn't have that hard a life. Oh yeah, that's right. Someone learned how to eat mullets. All right, I think we're gonna end up, we're gonna start running downstream and just hit some moored boats and isolated structure yeah. on our way to Ralph. And then when we get the shits with that, we're going to Ralph's. But I'm just struggling with the fact that there's not going to be much water there. I'm always trying to hold off as long as possible. Because even when we got there yesterday, there was only barely enough water to get into the spots I wanted to get into. So, Mark's onto one. Nice work, boys. Gets it in. Let's weed that edge. All right, I'm not going to go down. Jeez, look at those mullet. I'm not going to go down inside there because he's fishing there. So we'll drop in at Old Beach and fish that little dock there, maybe. Is that what it's called? Old Beach? Is that what it's called? Up and down on the left. Yeah. The old beach. wondering there's a couple of little nice little rock points here you might have a look at them on the way down too we'll just spot hop it i think i think we're good from here out aren't we oh uh, yeah, yeah yeah it's just in there the the nasty stuff I reckon I haven't fished this for like 15 years, this bank. But I remember it was good last time I was here. <laughs> last time I fished it. Anywhere that's got anything with those natural ridges of rock running in. See how you get those like fingers of rock going in? I reckon a good spot's here. 
because you know it's going to be running under the water. And again, there might be a lick of a current left on this. Who knows? Look at that ball of fluff dog. <laughs> it's like whenever it moves, it's like one of those rag dolls. Yep. I like the water clarity here. Oh, I always hate fishing for black broom in that, when it's sediment in the water, like silt it up. I don't know if they bite on it, I just, I've never had a decent session in it. Yeah. I probably don't catch many fish in it because I drive away from it when I see it. It's a proper low tide, this one, isn't it? It's, it's about as low as they get. Ooh, that's a big herring. Big herring just buzz me. Buzzing the tower. I can imagine this being a pretty good shore at high tide. Yep. Yep. Well, if there's sea runners here, it means there's bait here. And if there's bait here, they're gonna be brim here.
All right, I'm not feeling the love. There's no current. We're just gonna go structure hopping. No run, no fun. I remember one tournament where up here on the plastics, the squid were attacking him, like arrow squid. Must have been clear that year. I didn't think those things like fresh water much. There's a dollar in the bottom of you, mate. Sweet. It was a fun tournament at St. Helens, grubbing those crankbaits into the bottom on the sand. It was a lot of fish. Yeah. They weren't giants. Well, day two, I suppose wind had something to do with it. Yeah. Well, yeah, the lack of wind was maybe let people fish spots that were blowing out on day one, maybe. Yeah. One more little bit of reef for fish. I hooked a good one, I lost it off here yesterday, so it might be worth a throw just before we leave reef land. I don't think this reef's huge. Bring that tide's coming in on that pole now. George is doing nothing. Yeah, there it is. Let's grub that deep boy down there. Double hook up at 39s would be nice. I'm not greedy, I'll just I'll just take one of them. You can have the other one. Yeah, I can see the bottom here. Freaking flat. First of the day. Mapa Tasmania flathead.
And the ridge of that point is about a boat length and a half in front of us. The top of the point. I can see a lure out there. All right, keep going. Just no movement. Might have had a hiding, but that don't matter. It's going to get a mussing. I've got a special mass on heavy line just for this situation. I got way too embarrassed last year by a few on day two. They did a proper takedown. Bit of stink on the heat train, it's alright. Don't wait for me. Yep.
Low tide, they've got to be sitting around these bases of the pylons, I reckon. Back before the crabs and mussels, we used to throw stick minnows in here. And it's like, uh oh. Because you had to throw them pretty light rod, it was always dangerous. There's fish in there too. I can see one moving. Oh, that was actually a fish holding on to that. Oh, see if I hook one over the top of that. Rope would be good. So for the live viewers, this is a, um, a heavy, uh, Callum Muscle, just dropping it down under the pylons. There are fish moving under there. Don't know if they're eating or not. Go the suicide cast. There's a heap of fish under here. Surprised I can't see them. See the shadows on live scope? They're somewhere around here. It's only about four or five foot deep. Man, that dock stinks. See all these fish out in the flat here. They're all just out here. I just spook one with me, Mars. Rods out of the box. Let's get the stick minnow out because they might eat a stick minnow. Not the 200 pound leader. Hello. Pull out of him. <laughs> Up front here, man. I'll, I'll try to leave us some um, pole here. You can see a few of those fish just coming in here, just right near the pole here. Probably followed the fish that was. See them swimming around there now. They're probably only nearly a boat length out in front of the boat.
They're all swimming around this way. Yep. Look at them all. You can tell they're brim too, they've got the high shadows. It's not eaten, not in an eaten mood. That was like this stage of the tide yesterday. See them all, they just didn't want to eat. They're all just down here again there. That's the pole here. So they're just past the pole there. Got him, nice. Flathead. Oh. You snatched a flathead out of that massive school of brim. You're a genius. That shit takes talent. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon these aren't playing these fish. Let's go around a couple more moored boats on the bottom of the tide before they all start thinking that they can get up into the shallow water. I might go down into, um, thinking about maybe going to the back of Lindisfarne Bay. Seeing if we can see any in there. I don't know if it's been hammered or not. All the ones I seem to catch in Cornelian Bay are pretty small. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. How are the little well. friends going? They're going all right. You got a couple of th mid low 30s upgrade, 33s. Is that what you got? Two 33s and a 38. Uh, 30, yeah, 31s, I reckon. Uh, plenty of room to move.
remember catching Big Brim for an ABT off that green pole when we went out of here one day, like right at the end, like five minutes ago. That'll do. I've got my eye on that boat right down the back corner there. Oh really? Yep. Yeah. Once upon a time, place is Yeah, not many people actually come up in here. Yeah. So for me, the moored boat series, all those fish on the banks are going to fall back. They're always going to sit on the outside line of boats. Very rarely do I fish the ones in the guts. Yellow fins don't mind the ones in the middle if there's a bit of current on them. First tree in the paddock. And if it's, you know, got to be less than 10 foot. You know, preferably you want to be able to see the bottom in it, like real shallow. Shallower the better, I reckon. Yay. So you can probably plastic under these as well. So many of are going to fish for the suspendies up the side. It's going over the top of me once I get through. Going there. Oh, he's coming out to get it. You can see him swimming out. Got him. Not a big one. Throw in there now. While, while he's fighting, throw in there. Get him, mates. Say a junior. You'd see him come out, swim out after it. Well, if the second best boat's got all the, is uh, got fish on it, what's the best boat going to have on it? The green one in the back. Well, this one looks pretty, pretty dusty. He's little as well. I was going to pull him, <laughs> but man, maybe not. Not going to help that one either. I don't think that one would help either of us. Yeah, yeah, might as well throw a jerk bait. You're telling us throw a jerk bait. Or the plastic you throw has got to be really lightly weighted. That wasn't a particularly good cast. He came a long way out to eat that. But this is something good you can do without current anyway. Perfect boat, see the bottom, shade, close to a good bank.
can't see any of that one yet. Chuck that plucky in there first this time, see if they have the plucky. Water and give her another shot. That's the one. Got him? Nice. Yep. Look, that's got a flatty ramp, this boat. That's what you want. Go for it. That's the cast. That's the money cast. They got a smorgasbord just rocked up on their doorstep. Oh, look at him following it down there. You gonna eat it on you boys? Look at him looking at it. <laughs> They're no giants there. Eh? Yeah. I reckon you've got to either go a, go a lighter jig head or a jerk bait or stick minnow or something like that. Do you want to have a go at me stick minnow? I've got one here rigged up. Really if you should just like it. Mm. Beautiful. So all you do is drop it in next to the boat, lay your line down, and just let it sink. And when you go, when you think it's on the bottom, just go to wind it in, and they're often on. So try it on this one. And it's three pounds straight through. Perfect. Next boat, one cast per boat. The sticky is good because you don't have to throw it along the boat. You can just throw it right into the middle. And the most important thing is that they've laid that line down on the water as soon as it gets. So, because if you have a big bow in your line, it sort of pulls it away from the boat. So you want to sort of throw it in and then they lay that line down. See the brim member? Look at the boat underneath it there. Look at them all come. Are they, are they mullet? Are they brim? Look at them all coming. They're going to come out a monster, that thing. They can't be. Oh, yeah, they're looking at it. You're looking at it? Yep, now they're running for it. How did they not eat that? Oh, there we go. All right, we'll keep going. Let's fish the. We'll fish this boat. That's probably not the ideal one, but throw it, throw it on the on that sunny side of it. You can just sink it as we go away. Yep. I'd even lay when I'd lay that line down, like lay it down, and then actually give it a, you know, give it a bit of line so it sinks down probably. Feed it a bit.
Let's go find a shallow boat. That, that one in there is going to be better. We're wasting our time on these deep ones. There might be a fish on it, but we want the sure things. That's probably a very handy boat for Tassie, the Arvor. Full cabin, get out of the, the nasty stuff. I'll come up around behind that so we can throw up along the edge of it. So I'm nearly on the bottom here, that's perfect bottom for them. All right, drop one in on the keel there. Perfect, yep, roll that line out. Don't believe there's none under that boat. Um, let's go to the next bay down. I'm not going to go right into the back of this one. Should have been under that one. Definitely weren't the right size fish, but I've caught decent ones on the, under the boats in the next bay. We used to come and throw um, double clutches under these boats, throw it along, wind it all the way down, and just like twitch it underneath the keel. Got some awesome ones, but again, that's when we were running it out of here. It's going to go to the Whatever the other side of the bridge bay is, Rosny. Kangaroo Bay. Kangaroo Bay. Kangaroo Montague Bay. I remember when we used to do the weigh-ins in here, there would be some giants hanging in there under the docks. Under the, this side of that wall, like on the outside, yeah, there's nothing on the inside. They're just pigs sitting there. A couple of boats up in that corner and there's a load of bunks. Yeah.
There's a bit of coin when you paint your bag gold. <laughs> and what way is that current going? Nothing. It's just doing nothing, isn't it? Looks like it's a, that's the wind blowing it out. I know it's a bit of a Ripple behind it. Still running out, maybe. What was that? Hold on, then. Haven't checked out the pontoon of death since we've been here, up the back of this one. Haven't. Let's go see if there's some fush on it. Got so many seagulls on it, it's leaning to one side. Does look like it's half out of the water, doesn't it? I reckon she's on the bottom. She's just she's over the thousand fish. All right, one that's sticky now, and we'll throw her on the pontoon of death. So you guys know something's about to happen. All right, whenever you can make it halfway along there, go for it. Perfect.
See fish moving. Look at them underneath there. Oh, stacks of them. Stacks. If I can bring them out, you can throw the sticky in there. That's where you want to. Look at Come out and have a look. Just lift up, see if there's one on, no? Oh, what's going on? <laughs> there was a lot under there. <laughs> it's going to move away from it. I don't think we spooked him really. You know, we did virtually run him over. Let's try the death muscle in there. Yeah, that's every brim in the back of the bay sitting under there, wasn't it? Yeah, you see how it sinks down like got the flutter on it? Those fish are just actually out here now. They've sort of come out and had a look at the boat. Oh, what was that? Herring. We've been outsmarted. I'm nearly ready to go to Ralph's, I reckon. The question you ask yourself is, if you've got to weigh in that limit you've got now, are you happy? It's like, I'll go, I'm happy enough, so let's go and roll the dice. There he is, look at him under there. <laughs> Go on, see if you can swing one in there. Other one in there, look. Oh, there's the other one on the next pond. He's coming over to it. He's just definitely come over, sink it down, give it more line. Yep. You're definitely going down, have a look at it. Him. A bit of light and can. It's all brim sitting in between this thing and the pontoon. How's your day been so far? It's been great. Learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what I've learned is we're going to go to Ralph's. I'm 
under here. Let's go exploring. Yeah, there always are. It's just you got to get them on a like early morning or when they're not just been given a hiding out of existence by every fisherman in the place. <laughs> Just um, stand up the front as we go past this and see if there's any sitting underneath it. No, nothing really. Hasn't got the same visibility as that last one either. All right, time is 12.30, one, three and a half hours we got. Let's do some upgrading. It's just not a bad idea to have some eat on the way down. We're cruising down there. Stop Ralph's. Three ships gone. Right to my new console, it's gonna fall. That'll be all right. Stupid the park's in a good spot on that side. <laughs> get down there half the road. Thank you. 
This breeze should swing around the Sabah, I reckon. I think it's forecast to move to a sea breeze. Easy trip there.
Then you got old mate's place. Check that one out. I don't think he gets. I don't think he gets town water there, eh? <laughs> Oh yeah. She me some cold winners in that joint. some exploring we put it on that point yesterday i'm going to check these points on the way in We've got the wind behind us and the sun behind us so we can see them just give these dudes a drink i'll spill a bit of water out on the way down how was that trip boys i got all mine yesterday down here on a flash you know real shallow thing because you're fishing some shallow water and you don't want to get stuck in the kanji boys on the bottom yeah there you go today. it's the one All right, live viewers, hope it is as good as yesterday. Not heaps of fish, but right quality ones. It's my, my, my one and only flash minnow that I own. <laughs> Let's get him on something. Ow. Let's get him on. Swap him out for that duo Rosanti. I didn't muck around with leader down here either. It's all um, seven, eight pound.
Get some stink. Let all the stink go fill out on the way down. We're just going to be moving lots, just moving the whole time, looking for fish. You like the stink? Yep. Oh, just for black rim, 100%. Every time I get caught, nailed by a non boater that's because they're using sand and I'm not. <laughs> Took me a decade to learn that. I'm not real clever. <sighs> Turn that off. Don't need that. It's going to be out of the water of the transducer anyway. They're not fishing anywhere near this deeper water. What's on our way in? Gonna... Everything I've seen in water this deep is uncatchable. But well, they're not eating. The ones that are up shallow are the ones that are eating. Oh, there's flashes in there. What are they? Are they bring swimming past. I saw a few mobs that were like staging like this in these sort of spots, you know, the deeper little channel near the beach. But could never turn any of them into a capture. Ah, uh, then mullet. I reckon, are they brim out here? All right, let's go and look on the inside of this and along these edges we got to about where those houses were yesterday coming back this way You know, about the, you know about the kanjis in this joint? Don't let your lure hit the bottom or he grabs them, the bastards. Mullet out left. Every mullet in Matt Ralph's Bay on the left. I'm not really expecting to see much on the beach, but definitely when it turns into rock on the edge, I think you get like resonant ones. Like you get the ones that roam around the sand flats everywhere, and then you get the ones that are always in the rocks. More mullet.
Isaac will be right out in the middle there somewhere. I saw him yesterday. Wow, so many mullet in this bay. All mullet, those fish. All the mullet out here too. Is that a brim or a mullet? It's got to be a mullet. That looks, looks, his tail looks like a brim. Ten thousand mullet around. The chances are you're seeing. Oh, that one's a brim. It's pretty low. I reckon. If that boat lives there all the time, I wonder whether they sit under the boats. Imagine finding a Ralph's Bay school of fish under a boat, eh? That's like, like a regular school except big ones. A lot of mullet again in here. Officially one billion mullet in this bay. All right, let's get in on the beach here and the rocks and have a look. If you see any like big dark patches that might be fish seeing out, we'll go and look at them.
I'm just gonna go after and go and have a look at that boat to satisfy my curiosity. That looks like a boat that just lives there, doesn't it? See any under there? I don't. Oh, what's that? I think is that some, some stuff in there? Oh, no, it's just, yeah, is there something coming down under the hole? It's definitely not a cloud of 38s. Something down below, had a look at that. See him going back in? Do you reckon they're brim? Yeah, one with a brim. Yep. Not a giant though. Oh, that one's a brim. Look at that. That's a giant. That is a proper one, that one. Yeah, we scared the crap out of that thing. Big one? What, did you look at my lure? I didn't see you. Oh, he was just down on the bottom. He just come off the back shadow. Of the... Just sitting there. All right. So there wasn't a cloud of them under there, but there was a couple under there. Good to know. Don't think the owl's doing too good a job. When the birds are crapping on your shit, anti-shit device, you know you're in trouble. Start fishing some of this edge. Yeah, I think there was a proper one. I, I didn't see the one you saw, but I saw a like a 38 plus sandy looking thing. Yeah, we got a 39 down here on the practice day, and it was one that started growing that way. And it's just like I like it growing in those dimensions. It's starting to get up over the oysters a little bit. A lot of the ones that we caught on the edge, so we maybe caught five or six fish down here. Yep. You wouldn't see any of them hardly before you caught. You'd like just, you're just throwing the speculator up in the, up in the rocky area. A lot of the times you'd throw at a submerged rock and nah, nothing on that. Then you go past it and you'd spook six off it. It's like bastards.
You can come up the front, man, if you want a better shot at stuff. If you... Just kick those to the side. Throw that over them. a lot deeper than the water we were fishing yesterday but let's see if they're in here Oh, is that one? Something caught the corner of my eye. They were definitely not evenly distributed. They were, it'd be nothing, 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 10. Nothing, 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 six. Oh, there's a brim. See him going out there? He was sitting out in deeper water though, so. Didn't get any bites yesterday until the breeze picked up. It was dead flat in here. So I'm happy we got a bit of breeze now. Yeah. Straight up. Feels fishy. Mm. Oh, it all looks amazing down here.
And everything, when you hook it, you think, oh, it's small. And then it's like, oh, it's getting bigger. Oh, yeah, there they go. See? Six of them. Bastards. Yeah, they're all probably kilo each, those ones. <laughs> Ripped his head off. <laughs> Silver flash. Was it his? He saw it. Oh yeah, I'm looking at him going. You just gotta. Yeah, well that one there. They're sitting beside in the shade of it. Is that following you? No, uh, it's my lure with a herring eating it.
got a couple swimming up there. We didn't have any joy trying to catch the ones off the edge. Like it was always the ones right up that you could get. These ones are just like, I don't think they're feeding. They're just sort of milling around. That one spooked some of these bait fish. That's all bait, yep. See why they like eating shiny jerk baits. This is more like the depth of water we get, you know what I mean? Mm. I don't think they'll even, they're just going somewhere else. Oh, that was a double for a while. I wonder what that dark patch is in there. What you'd want it to be is a thousand brim all tailing. What it is is probably mud. I might get you to jump up the back because I'm going to hit the bottom in the lecky soon. We'll do we'll do some fast tracking in over the flats here to see what that stuff is, and make sure that motor's up off the bottom. And I'll go a bit faster now. We'll just see if we can see some fish over the flats. Anything that looks like a fish, chuck at it. We might be able to get in there, might be too deep, Mr. Shallow. Man, that looks good out there too, doesn't it? That black blob there. You see some? No, it's good. Look, 
Yeah, everything looks like it's going to have one. Yep. Yep. They're very grey in here. They're not black like up the river. Like a shallow little rock garden in there, isn't it? Not seeing any fish in it though. Might be enough water in there yet to get them in. digs in here the same for that big chunk of chunk of junk so for the live viewers we are now down in Ralph's Bay you can see from even from the camera there how shallow and clear the water is so we did our upgrading yesterday we've got a few hours to do that today Everything looks fishy. We've seen about 20 or 30 fish so far, not even close to catching one. But as that tide gets up, I reckon we're going to be, we'll be sweet. I haven't seen one of the legendary, you know, pods of 30 fish so far that are all digging and feeding and... Plin was telling me about them. We, we went looking for them on some real, like banks that had no, just pure sand on them. We couldn't, couldn't find any though. Found ones and twos. keep covering ground till we find something but at least I know that there's a lot of the ones we got yesterday were in front of us here so
Occasionally it's a rock that looks like a fish. But then you work out it's just a rock. Seems to be sort of a lot of water. The tide should be nearly halfway up, I reckon. Yep. I just spooked something there. It's a dig over there, a stingray dig. Go on. Wanna have a look at you? Oh yes. Do you want me to put the poles down? You have a follow? Yeah. Brimbo? Yeah. Well, looks like it. Oh, I'll put the poles in here to keep throwing back in that area. They normally hang around in groups, I reckon. I don't want him to go to that next point. Mm. Don't you do it, Pete Bruegel. Flathead. Never caught one of them in rouse before. Wait, now I have. Hey, Lou hit me in the face. I get my sunnies on. Give me a little bugger. 
Don't you do it, Pete. First rule of tournaments, never work up to a spot you want to go to, just go there. He's hanging off there. He doesn't know what the spot. He doesn't know what's going on in the spot. I reckon. Hopefully, he won't go shallow enough. Deceptive how you think it's too shallow to get into some of these places and it's not. We saw a few around this rock yesterday. This is what we got up to. At least he didn't pull up on this bommy in here. We got a few on that bommy. Skis.
that a dig there? So there were a couple on the the main bit of rock coming out yesterday we spooked after we fished it. There was probably a foot more of water on it yesterday though. Gotta be something in there. Come on, fishies. Admittedly, it did get better the later it got yesterday.
Come on, fishies, where are you? This is why you don't come here to get a limit. <laughs> A lot of shell on this bit of bottom. How'd you go yesterday, Layton? Did you catch some? Uh, two, two, so three, three thirty fours. You probably got about that now, too. Why do you throw out a thirty three and put in a thirty nine forker? Then you're playing the game. There's a bait. Bait taking off. Looks like a bit of rock or something in the water straight ahead here. Oh, how many salmon must be in the Derwent? How many must be in Tasmania? A trillion, I reckon. That doesn't look like a bad place for him to stage on the way up. Bit of rock that deep. I laugh if it wasn't rock, it was just like a thousand fish.
We caught 37 off these rocks and a 36 and a 35 off the inside of that point. So Pete didn't go in there, he went around the corner. So both of all the spots we caught fish, he didn't hit. Apologies to the live viewers, this is the boring bit. It's interesting when we hook something. So all the fish we got were in the, like, there's lines of rock and that sand in between. You'd, we're just throwing right up into the, into the gnarly stuff. Go get it. That won't come off, eh? <laughs> yeah, it does not come off. I'm just going to fish this point on the way in in case we spook them on the way past. Let go, herring. Is that a brim just here? Oh, look at it. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at it. Come on, mate, eat it. Come and eat it. I think he's just looking at it from a while back. Just gonna pull it. He isn't spooked yet. Now he's spooked. He is a big one, isn't he? Well, they're in here. We'll go get that. You came out for a look, though. I don't think he's proper spook. We can catch him. Where are you? Which one are you on? The end one or the up a bit further? Yep. That was a proper big one, I reckon. That was a that was a 38 plus. When they look big in the water. I'll put the poles in, you might have to do the landing net to Oh, look at them all. <laughs> About six brim in there. We've been throwing over it a few times. You won't, you might have to get the net to get over it. I'll pull the pole up and we'll... 
gonna have to so I'm gonna... just I'll put the pole down in the you get him? Put that down. You close enough to hit with the net? Yeah. You want to get caught in a bit of the net. I had one, I could touch it with the net. I couldn't even get it out yesterday. Here, just give me your rod and I'll, um, and just, you go slack on the line and just see if you can catch the triples in the blue bit of the net. That's it. There you got him. <laughs> I got one too. Just slack the line a bit, I think it's the best. Yeah. Just gotta pick up that one. Oh, it's not. Is it off? No. I moved it though. Now it's stuck on a deeper one. Do you reckon I can pull the isolator? Up. I dislodged the rock. Bloody sticky old kanji boy. Thanks, mate. Well, there are a few nice ones in here.
Pretty sure that's where I did get a 37 yesterday from right in there. No, it's not yours, Seagull. Play with your own toys. Oh, I thought that was one. <laughs> That's another bit of frickin' sponge weed. Yeah, I thought, here we go, this is it. You watch them take off out of here, I'll be in here. I reckon they've been digging in there, it's got a bit of dirty bottom there. It's pretty deep for a flash minnow you know, getting it that deep. It's good effort. Need a longer handle net, that's what I need. That's how you do it first guy. So for the live viewers, it's Kanji Boy that's on the bottom that grabs your lures and does not let go. They're not loaded up yet. Only one there. I saw about 10 in here yesterday. Oh, there he goes, see? Damn. They're always in there, aren't they? In this corner here was the only place I caught one out of a school. There was about 
half a dozen of them all flopping around. Yeah, I think yesterday we just saw more and more as the as the tide got up. So I reckon we'll come back to there before before the end on the way back out. Tide's getting up nicely now.
There was a school of fish on this corner yesterday, but they were just sort of staging, waiting to go up somewhere, I think. Wouldn't eat anything. That's that wind just changing over now, I reckon. Oh, it's a ray. Oh, 20 brim on him. Look at him. Damn. <laughs> I didn't tell, could only tell it was a ray when I was close to him. Look at them all swimming up the side here. That's where they all were. Yep. That's weird because on the ray at Rays at St. Helens, there was not one fish. Like another, that's probably where the ray was digging before it was digging there. Don't see Isaac out there today. He was way out in the middle there, about three k's away. I had a look on Google Earth. I reckon there's a bit of rock out there. They look like a big rock bar. Salmon. Oh, there's two brim, look. Right in front of us here. They're just down here. Yeah, these ones that were in this channel here were hard to, you'd see a few, but you couldn't catch them. How are those fish going? You hear that thing pumping occasionally? Pumping right now. Now I want to see stingrays. Didn't see many yesterday. There was that one bay in the left side of Malting Bay at St. Helens where there was 50 stingrays in there and not one brim on them. Not normally the case. Ah. The only fish I caught of a stingray was a big silver trevally. Come on, Breeze. You can pick up now. We'll definitely stop in that point on the way back. 
What time is it? You got a watch on? 2.06. 2.06. Jeez, we haven't got that much time left. Feel like you need a bit of breeze over this to make them want to bite. There's another is that a stingray. Probably not. I think, let's go and see if we can find that chunk of rock that I saw on Google Earth, the big, big like rock. It was a big dark patch anyway. I'm gonna do that, and if that's no good, we'll do this point of the way out, and then we'll go back and we'll, I've got a few spots on the way back that we got smoked on a few times yesterday, so. Pretty keen on us upgrading them 33s. Keen on washing my boat out too one day. I got some more. I got a hose at the place right now. <laughs> a little salt on the deck. It's atrocious. Probably need this on. <laughs> so I'm gonna find my Google Earth. Where I was looking on. Google Maps. We're there. I reckon we're gonna go to there. Which is somewhere out about there.
might be down here. That dark patch, see it all in there? That's what I'm looking for. How does that look? That looks like some shizzle there. All right, Google Earth. Show me how it's done. To me, that looks like weed or a proper rock garden. See bait moving up the front there, 100 metres. Digs through here. This has got some proper weed and stuff in it, this one. Oh, look at this mullet that landed in. Looks good, doesn't it? It's bait everywhere.
Come on, there's got to be something on here. So I'm going to work in, work in along this rocky stuff and then we're going to work our way down the bank. Because yesterday I fished from that cutting down. If there's enough water I'd like to fish down to the cutting today at least. Come on, South East, to kick in. A lot of mullet in here. Yes, came out of some weed. It might be a good spot on the bottom of the tide when they all fall off the flats. Oh, yep, there he goes. <laughs> Still, one brim for all that stuff we just went over.
thousands of mullet in here. Shallow's up there, doesn't it? I think it looks all right down here on the on the flat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking tide pushing in, I want to be up on that bank. It is a good looking patch of water though, isn't it? How's it going, Isaac? You got him? Have you got him? Got ears? Painted on? Oh, what was that behind my, was that behind my lure? No. I don't know, the big one we got the other day was, Tim was burning it in the stop, then it was like following it behind, it just went donk and ate it. I wonder if that's another rock bar up there. See it on the flat? Let's go and see if we can follow that in along to the bank. So many mullet. Yeah, I think he's giving his hand away there, fishing that shallow. Now I know what part of it is good. <laughs> I'm going to try and go to that rock there and then follow that in and we'll do that. Because that's, to me, I think that's the real shallow part of it. 
that I don't think any boats would have been in on. Look at that, is that someone's balloons? Just marking with the 38 tar. <laughs> this looks good to me, this bit. Live there, push up on this. Something been digging in there. For the live viewers, I'm using a Lucky Craft flash minnow. Because it's basically the shallowest diving one I got, and you don't want it to go anywhere near these kanjis on the bottom. Every little dark bit on the bottom is covered in kanjivoy, and it eats lures for breakfast. We've got another little shallower rock garden in here, so. Yeah, big stingray digs. Is that a brim in front of me? Oh, so that's a sea toad. <laughs> Was there a bin behind it? Oh, I can see him. No, no, I can see him. See, he's out here. They're going to be in here, eh? They've been digging just there too, I reckon. Oh, look at him. Can I eat it? Oh, look at him follow it. Look. They didn't really speak. They've gone back in here, Sam. Damn it. Three of them followed it out. That's a good sign. Got him, nice. Nah, it's a brimbo. Yes. And they get bigger too. They go, oh, it's not even legal. Oh yeah, it's legal. Oh, it's 30. See how he's getting bigger as he's coming in? Doing real for salmon. 
don't think he's an upgrade though, is he? That's the smallest room we've seen in here the whole time. Oh, look at him, I can see him rolling. Look at him up here. Here we go. Game on, boys. Oh, he's coming. Eat it. Ball of them. Yep. Look at his mates all following him now. He's not, he's not that big either. Oh, he fell off. <laughs> That was cool, I could see him plating. He wasn't, I don't even think it's an upgrade. His mates were in there too. I think his mates are just there. They were actually digging down. First ones I've seen proper eating. One behind you. <laughs> oh, I see him, I see him. Yep. Little twitches. Oh, look at him just here, behind your lure. Oh, these are spooked. <laughs> I don't think that's spooked much. That'll, be, that'll, that'll eat again. Oh. <laughs> he had four of them. There's one. Flipping over. Yeah, right in the middle of that dark. Oh, okay. Just a big flank. He knows it's there, he's going to come and eat it. I can see flashes and stuff. <laughs> yeah, big... That's a proper size one. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's... <laughs> All those ones following you looked like they were just about 30 centimetre ones. They weren't giants. Keep on moving. Rolling. Yep. Let's just pull down. We'll take our time working this. Oh, look at there. There's another one taking off. That's a proper size one, that one, I think.
going on out wide there. Let's straighten that treble out. All right. Where are these dinosaurs? Come on, biggins. Don't believe you had that pack of four or five behind your lure and they didn't chomp it. Yeah, not hiding from it. Been digging in here too.
Oh, is that one follow me? Yep. And he's got it. Yeah, it looks bigger than a 33, that's for sure. Do you think, oh, maybe he's not bigger than a 33? Yeah, he's probably heavier. <laughs> They're hard working here, aren't they? He didn't even look that big in the water. Check him out. <laughs> yeah, they'll upgrade a 33. I just looked up at the Malua and it was like behind him. Oh, what's that, a little grey shadow? Uh, 34 and he's heaps fatter. Hey, get back in there. Always look down to the bottom corner of the bottom. First place the little ones sit. Is that him? So I chopped his tail before, so I know he's the smallest. Old mate's like, where am I? <laughs> Go get it. He was just a blind caster. Down on that one. Got him. Look at that. What a gun at it. Well, that was a healthy diversion, I reckon. There's a fish straight in front of us. Where did you go, mate? It was just there, floating around. There he goes, back that way. Here comes the sea breeze. We're going to go in and fish that bank all the way along now with that breeze behind us. Do you reckon there's any more? That's not more rock in there, is it? That's just a...
drink some water. It's nearly three o'clock in it. I'm gonna have to motor across these flats, I think. To get to where we want to go because we have to leave here very latest at 3 30. even though we're a full 40 flight we got to be in before the weigh-in otherwise no one's fish is getting weighed So I reckon we got time to get fish to the end of the point and then take off. All right, full speed for the cliffs. Yeah, he's fishing that knuckle of the ridge going out. Bit of a rock garden in there. I didn't see him. Oh, was it? <laughs> okay. Next time, say stop and twitch. I'm not even going to ask how big it was. <laughs> Just say 30. That was only 30. There you go. We got to the six. <laughs> The two foot bow, the two foot bow wave put, gave it away.
Come on, give us one more big boy each. Stick, we'll go get it. Yeah, no, no, you gotta fish it. Where are we? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Straight over the edge. Down here. Oh, shit, I'm running it over. Let's go back over it now. Do you need me to pull it back over it? Um, Where is it? Uh, I think it's the. Uh, just... Do you want to hold it right? No, no, there it is. Okay, I'll get across a bit. Hold on, I can do that. Nah, haven't got it. No, it's still on the rock. Getting close. I think it's in the net now. Okay. Yep, because <laughs> oh, it was okay, going, it was going towards the back of the net. <laughs> it was taking line. <laughs> That's all good, mate. You gotta you gotta get in there. That's right. Well. If we're going to push it to right at the end, we push it to right at the end. Yeah, that's what happens though, isn't it? You tear a couple open. None of us are that smart, mate. 100%. Come on, I've got to be able to see something there. I want to have one where I just see him digging and throw there. And we had some good bite like that at Malakuta. Late in the set, it was like late, late in the session, and they came up on this flat. You could just see the the grey mud, and you'd throw in the mud, couldn't see the fish, and then you go to strike, your line would already be five meters away. It's like I didn't even. It's like like this, and it's like, how did you get there? It's like magic. Here's a bit of rock out here, let's fish that. Bit of a rock garden. Oh, that's wrong with the water clarity. Oh, it's unreal, isn't it?
How quiet are these power pole motors, eh? They're pretty good, aren't they? Like we're flogging along now. Okay, let's go on the shore. Looks good, I'll play it. Looks good, I'll play it. Give uh, Nicole on the ABT number. She'll explain all the what to, all the different uh, versions of what you can do. Uh, on the ABT number. On the ABT number. All right, I'll give her a buzz now. I'll get her to give you a buzz. So where where is it? Where is he? Ah, uh, yeah, Old Beach up the river. Yep. Oh, the boat ramp. Yeah, yeah. So, well, he, he – oh, oh, buddy, no good. You're not going anywhere. So what he can do is if, – if, so what you need to do, though, if, if you want your fish, if you want your fish, you're going to find another boat and jump in the boat with them. Ever, like, take the boat to the boat ramp and, like, leave it there. Um, but he, he needs to jump in with his non-boater in a boat, put all the fish in one boat and get back in time. Yeah, because you can't just send your fish with the non-boater because then if 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 the non-boater yeah, well you can tell him like if he, it depends if he wants his fish or not. If he wants his fish, he needs to throw him into the boat with Markham, put him in the boat with Steve, with the non-boater, put the boat like the boat's going nowhere. So go back to the start and then at the finish. Yeah, yeah, he can do that. Him and his non-boater. Yep. Tied to the wharf or pole down or whatever, go back and then uh, and uh, either weigh your fish or you know leave them there or organise your fish and then you can go back up and either drive drive the car up to get him. But you've got to get back by water with all your fish and you've got to stay with your non-boater and that way we can weigh all the fish and everyone gets their weight. So who, who, who do we do? Well, Steve or, well, Steve, or who? who that, exactly right. We're, whoever's like I'm down in Ralph's Bay at the moment. I'm no good. No worries, eh? Cheers, bye. No propeller and at Old Beach. Oh, look at that. There's some bait. Some rim behind that bait. He lost his propeller. Well, I think it just, it might have been a crappy knot, yeah. Sometimes when, like propellers don't fall off when you're going in forward. It's always when you're in reverse. If the nylon nuts crap, it'll, it'll, it thrusts back on it. So if you've got a rubbish knot, a rubbish um, nut, that can happen. So we got about three on this bank on the practice day when the tide was about this. What time we got now? Okay. I'm gonna fish a quick. <laughs> You got him? Yes. No, herring. Oh, look at that. They've been mudding in here. Look. Look at that mud. That's either a stingray or a heap of brims. Something was going on in there. What's that? The... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you go to sleep at night, all you see is 
rocks on sand. See here where you've got the rock off the beach? I think this is the this is the gun gear. This is what we want. Oh, look at that one. That's a giant, or is that a bird shadow? No, that's a bird shadow. <laughs> no, I reckon it is. I did it. That was a big broom. All right. I was trying to make you feel better. This is about where we got the 39 the other day. Yes, that's a brim. That's the one you want. <laughs> he nearly pulled you over. No, that was a power poles. Oh, oh no. Oh, I was only 30, all right. Only a 30 with a bit of interest. <laughs> yeah, probably. Did you check his rebel end? Might be been out again. Did he hit it over that black stuff? Yep. You're just processing this thing, aren't you? It's like, uh, that one's not in the live well, it's still out there. Nah, he wasn't a 40, but he was a... I think he might have been a 100 grams more in your well. Oh, I've got his mate. He's not big either, really, I don't think. Come here. Yeah. He's not an upgrade. Don't worry about it, keep fishing. Too little. I hope your big mate wants to eat as much as you do. That one wouldn't even help you. I'm just got him out of the road for you. Ah, uh, look at that, all that weed in there. It's gonna get stuck in that. Oh, that herring got his head pulled off.
All right, we're just going to go down to the point now. I want to fish that last bit of good stuff before we have to take off. Oh. It's going to idle us down there. Two eleven. That's right. We can leave by half past, and we'll have, I'll be in ten minutes early. It takes about twenty minutes from here. It's only blowing about five knots. Just want to do that that rock island around the corner before we go. I reckon it's higher percentage in this front bit. Put this on. I'm just going to pop it on the pad and get us around the corner. Extra minutes and extra minute. You're right. Bite? Oh, really? These ones are always the hard to catch ones. You want the ones on the shallows. Yeah, anything that's not in two foot of water is hard to catch, I reckon. You've got too much time to look at it. All right, we're going to the rock bar. And then we're going. Something moving over here. Oop. Oh, right here. Yeah, there's one there. Get onto the uh, we'll get onto the rock. All right. Did that thing split apart? No. Yes. No. No. Oh. 
Oh yeah. There's one there, look, just or is that a mullet? Looks sort of longish. Go over top of me. Go where you need to go. That's a good spot. But I reckon this is a gooder spot. Herring's all chasing it out. Looks like something's flashing in there, but it's an oyster, isn't it? Okay, last couple of casts, Leighton. Time to make your move. Get up right up on that oystery stuff. See where the, the bait's all moving? Something's gonna be going on up there. Oh, geez, that's wrong. That's where I want it to be. Right, and last cast. Did you chew it, you little herring? Well, I never really caught this fish in the same place twice, eh? Down here, maybe they're a little bit delicate once you sting them. for a boat ride. That's off, that's strapped. Oh. Good day, mate. Oh, Enjoyed you. it? Yeah, it was really good. Wasn't it was fishy early on, yeah. a bit searchy this afternoon, but
All right, it is 21. It'll only take us 20 minutes to get back, max. That thing's loose, don't worry about that. If you need to hold on, you just hold under there. But you won't need to hold on. It's just going to be like this the whole way back.
Pressure waves with the running tide, eh? It's nice. in here I think that only took us 10 minutes to get back yeah. very pleasant non-threatening trip <laughs> not one pressure wave no, like because you said they transit on the top of the tide it's only 32 so let's give it 10 minutes here see if there's a loose unit biggin Last minute up, Brian. It's happened before. Let's try the old big dog. Big dog for the big upgrade. The zippy. What are you doing there, Stickman? No, you, no, you can't go out and play.
I wouldn't bother if it wasn't right on the top of the tide, eh? Lovely. Caught some giants here over the years, but usually a bit later in the year. Somewhere along here, there's a nice shallow rock shelf. Yeah, we've had a few tournaments won on this bank over the years, but always when we're in May. Oh, is that a brim? I'm spooked out. Something else spooked past. I don't like the fact that they're deep though. They want to be catchable, they've got to be shallow. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try the Norries right up. Yes. Is that guy on one of those? one wheel things. Imagine eating shit on one of those things, eh? <laughs> when you're going real quick. <laughs> you just have bitumen from your neck to your butt. Yeah, I'd be wearing every sort of protective gear and known to man. Cause at least on a bike, you got your handlebars to hold on to. <laughs> you know, they can at least give you, throw you away from the scene a bit. That one, all you do is eat bitumen. It's not a big high tide, is it? This is what I want, some of this shallow stuff. All right, last cast. It was a long shot. Isaac said it's it, don't need the extra time, just get me fish in. All right, let's go and park this boat and do away. Thank <laughs> you. 
All the big yachts are gone out of here. Two big ones there yesterday, are they? Live stream viewers, I'm turning off. We are back home. You can watch the live stream.